Hello and welcome back. In my last video, I showed how to connect the original Macintosh keyboard and mouse to an iPhone, and I lamented the fact that I couldn't use a USB floppy drive along with that demonstration. I have a USB floppy drive here encased in the original external 400K drive that complements these two pieces. But I did mention there was one other device I had around my house that all three of them worked on. And if you haven't guessed by now, it's my LG Smart TV. So I found out that I could use the floppy drive in it, and then later found out I could use a keyboard and mouse, which I had no idea about it initially. So when I found all that out together, I thought this, this would be a neat little video to make. So if I go up and hit the command key on the keyboard, my uh, little app manager will show up. And as you can see, I can move the cursor around with the mouse. And there's a web browser here. And we can go right in. We can go to Apple's page. And that works as expected. So we'll close out of this. So when you close out of an app on the LG TV, which is running the web OS, if you guys remember that from the Palm Pre days, it doesn't really go back to the app manager. It kind of just goes to the screensaver. So you always have to hit the command key to bring these things back up again. Now I'm going to put a floppy disk in. And there's two things that the TV can do with external storage. You can do photos and videos or music. So when you put in a, a disc of any kind, it'll ask, which is it? Which app do you want to launch? So we'll start with music because there's a music file on this. Got some uh, safe YouTube music here. So let's play this. We can close that out. You can have some rudimentary file management on this. You can actually delete files right off the floppy disk, which is pretty cool. So if we uh, quit this and we'll bring back up the manager. And unlike the iPhone's file app, you actually have an eject button here, which is really cool with removable media. So I can go down to the floppy drive, which is a TAC model, and hit the eject button. And then that allows me to remove this disk and put in another one. So we'll do that. And this one has photos on it. And then you can pull up whatever pictures you want to look at. And you can zoom in on them. And we also have um, that uh, a little bit of file management there where we can go through and delete pictures as well. And we will eject again. So that's basically it. All three of these things work as expected. I mean, it's really designed for a modern USB keyboard and mouse and a, and a jump drive or a flash drive, but uh, through the joys of USB, it, 
it just works, which I thought was really neat. Now, a couple of things. Um, I have all three of these plugged into a hub, which is plugged into one USB port on the back of the LG TV. And even though it's a powered hub, I, I, I'm not connected to power at this time. That, that USB 3 uh, port in the back of the LG TV is putting out enough amps to drive the floppy drive and the keyboard and mouse. And that's really, really nice that uh, it's, it has the proper amperage. I have a smaller, newer LG TV upstairs, and uh, it doesn't do that. I have to plug the hub into power to get all three of these to work upstairs. You may notice over here I have a Nintendo Switch. This keyboard works just fine, plugged into the USB port of the Nintendo Switch. It also works with my Blu-ray players and another older quasi-smart TV I have. So it really does work as expected. It just works as a USB keyboard. So there you have it, LG TV using floppy disk drive, M0110 keyboard, and M0100 mouse from Apple. Uh, pretty neat stuff. Uh, that's all for today. Take care.